Since only one test occur in the x observation, the small t x is equal to two, and the small t y is equal to zero because there is no test occur in the y observation. The decision for the small sample. For the case A, we reject Hessel if tau h is positive and larger than the positive of the critical value, or we reject Hessel when the tau h is negative and smaller than the negative of the critical value. For the case B, we reject Hessel when the tau h is positive and greater than the positive of the critical value. And for the case C, we reject Hessel when tau h is smaller than the negative of the critical value. To get the critical value, use table A.22. If the value of n is greater than 40, we are going to use the last sample approximation. This is the formula for the last sample. Then, we have to find the p-value by using the z value that we get. If the p-value is less than the value of alpha, we will reject the hash null. This is the example for the small sample non test case. From the question, we can make the hypothesis for the hash null and the hash one. This will be the case B because the hash one the tau is greater than zero. After that, we need to calculate the test statistic for this case by using this formula. To do that, we arrange the x value in the ascending order, then we find all the values for the y pairs in natural order and the y pairs in reverse natural order. After that, we will get the value of P which is equal to 218 and the value of Q is equal to 82. 218 minus 82 will give us the value of S which is equal to 136. After that, we just substitute the value of S and the value of N in the formula of small sample non ties we will get the test value equal to 0 0.453. Since this is case B, we need to compare the value of tau h with the value of tau star alpha. Tau star alpha is the critical value for this case. To get the critical value, refer to table A.22. Since n is equal to 25 and alpha is equal to 0 0.005 to get the critical value we refer to table A.22 from the table A.22 we get the critical value is equal to 0 0.367 Since tau h is greater than the critical value we reject h null As the conclusion there is enough evidence to support the claim that there is a direct relationship between benchmark achievement and management ranking in the population Example for the small sample ties case. From the question, we can make the hypothesis for the hash null and the hash one. This will be the case B because hash one the tau is not equal to zero. Then we have to calculate the tau head for this case by using this formula. To use the formula, we need the value of S, the value of big TX, and the value of big TY. 
to get the value of big Tx and big Ty, we need all the values of small Tx and small Ty. Small Tx is the number of x observations that are tied at a given rank. And the small Ty is the number of y observations that are tied at a given rank. Then you have to arrange the x value in the ascending order. If the ties occur, the y observation in every ties also should be arranged in ascending order. Then you have to find all the values of y pairs in natural order and y pairs in reverse natural order. After we find the y pairs in natural order, and y pass in reverse natural order we will get the value of p is equal to 250 and the value of q is equal to 144 so the value of s that we get is 106 then we substitute all the values of small tx into the formula of big tx we will get the big Tx is equal to 24. After that, we substitute all the values of small Ty into the formula of big Ty. We will get the value of big Ty is equal to 19. After we get the value of S and big Tx and big Ty, we just substitute all the values in the formula of tau head then we will get the tau head is equal to 0 0.2564 since this is case A we must compare the value of tau head to the value of tau star alpha over 2 we are given n equal to 30 and alpha is equal to 0 0.1 so Alpha over 2 is equal to 0 0.05. By using the information, refer table A.22 to get the critical value. From table A.22, the critical value is equal to 0 0.218. Since 0 0.256 is greater than 0 0.218, we can reject Hessnall. We can conclude that there is enough evidence to support the claim that there is direct or inverse relationship between reading improvement and IQ. There are some exercises for the ties, non-ties and less sample that you can try on your own.